Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market. This is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, uh, September 3rd, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you're going to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button the bell button to see our new videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. And as you can see, we're up nearly half a percent today. We're approaching the 200 moving average. And at this moment, it looks like it's going to continue up towards the 200 moving average. MACD is still bullish, the RSI is bullish, the CCI is bullish, and so is the stochastic. And still, we have some room left towards the top of the bullish band here. So another roughly, give or take, uh, uh, half a percent to the upside. That is nearly towards the 150 moving average before we should find massive resistance. Last time we rallied here, it was around this area here, just at the 200 moving average where this basically fell apart. So it's going to be interesting whether or not we manage to break above here. So breaking above the 150, then we have the 100 up here and breaking above that, then this could be basically changing direction. It has tested the um, 300 moving average twice. And uh, yes, this could basically be the catalyst where this uh, turns to the upside. If we roll over here, then the 300 moving average will most likely begin where we'll test. So the US dollar, Japanese yen, we can see that it is basically, well, pulling back a little bit today, 0.07% at this current stage. MACD is still bullish, RSI is bearish, CCI is bullish, and stochastic is bullish as well. It hasn't basically done anything uh, for the last few weeks, bouncing off the 150, getting closer to uh, 110, and then you'll just stay in the same range. It's not until we basically break above the and this range here and also below the 200 moving average where we'll basically find massive movement. Otherwise, we have just been staying within this range. So it's just a waiting game. So US Euro, US dollar, this also rallied roughly 0.31% today up towards the 100 moving average up here at 119. Still some uh, way to go, but uh, it is also getting fairly overstretched. If we look at a bullish band here, wouldn't be surprised if we basically pull back towards the middle of the bullish band or the previous highs here. That is roughly a drop towards a 50 moving average. So around this area here, it should find support. MACD is still bullish and the RSI is bullish. That's the CCI is bullish and the casting is crossing the signal line, but we're still in bullish territory. But it is getting very overstretched with a very high RSI at this current stage. So let's look at Aussie dollar, US dollar, and also here we have broken above 0.73. And at this point, it is rallying up towards 100 moving average. We are approaching an area where we have found massive resistance in the past, but we are also approaching the top of the bullish band. So there are several things here. RSI is also getting high, and we're approaching this level here and the top of the bullish band. So I wouldn't be surprised if we found a lot of resistance. But breaking above here, the 100 moving average will come into play, and that's a fairly nice rally to the upside of give or take at 1.5%. MACD is still bullish, RSI is still bullish, CCI is bullish, and so is the stochastic. So US dollar, Canadian dollar, and this basically fell off a cliff today. Uh, oil is uh, rallying and the US dollar is the falling base. So uh, that doesn't really bode well with the US dollar, Canadian dollar. We fell below the 50 moving average and next is down here is the 200 moving average. So this is a drop of roughly half a percent more to the downside. If you look at the bullish band, we could basically fall even further than that, 0 0.87 is basically where we'll find the bottom of the bullish band. MACD is bearish, RSI is bearish, still a lot of room to the downside. CCI is bearish, and so is the stochastic. So, yes, we tested the 300 twice. It looked like it was going to basically continue going up, but at the at this current stage, it looks like we have still some. Um, downwards momentum if we before continuing to the upside break below the 100 moving average and then we could really basically fall off a cliff here so hope you found it helpful you'll support your channel by subscribing hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos and good luck and thank you very much